I'd like to teach you a simple technique called a switch knot that will allow you to make a quick and easy bracelet using hemp and a wooden bead. Then we'll go over three different techniques you can use to finish off your bracelet. You will need two 30 inch lengths of hemp string, one wooden bead with a large diameter hole like these, an object to use as your clasp, such as a button, a lucky coin, a charm, or a round wooden bead. Optionally, you may want to use some beeswax, some illusion cord or fishing line, and a safety pin. Our finished product will be about seven and a half inches. An optional step that I find very helpful is to coat the ends of the hemp with a little beeswax. This keeps it from unraveling while you're working with it. For the next step, measure up your ends on one of the strings and make a loop on the other side. You will want this loop to be the approximate size of whatever you're using for your end. Here I have shown these so you can imagine what the other side will look like. Snug up your loop so that it goes right up against that. And verify that it will go over. Next, you'll want to secure your line. The most common way is to simply use a safety pin. In my case, I have secured it to a piece of wood. Using a simple overhand knot, secure your second line. Make sure that you're even and adjust if needed. Now I'll show you the pattern that we'll be using. We're going to make a square knot by taking the right hand side over the center and the left hand side under the center lines. Then bring the left hand side up through this loop and take the right hand side down through this loop. Now reverse that process by taking the left hand side over the top and the right hand side underneath. Bring this loop, this side through this loop, and take this side down through this loop. That's how you make a square knot next part of the pattern is the switch knot. We're going to take our center lines and trade them with the outside lines. Now holding that, we're going to repeat our square knot, taking our right hand side over the center and our left hand side under the center. Then bring it up and through and make sure this one goes down. And when you secure this, don't take it all the way up leave yourself about a half an inch gap. Now complete the square knot by placing the left hand over your center lines and take your right hand under the center lines. So you'll have a square knot, a switch knot, and another square knot. Let's do that again. We're going to take our center lines and switch them for the outside lines and we're going to make a square knot with our right hand side over and our left hand side under. Bring it up and through and make sure this side went down and leave yourself about a half an inch gap the square knot by taking the left hand side over and bringing your right hand side under. Up and through that loop. Isn't that a simple pattern? You want to repeat that so that you have five switch knots before you add your bead. Now we're going to string on a bead on our center lines. I prefer a wood bead. 
because you can see they have a much larger hole. Bring that up, make sure that it doesn't adjust your length and continue with your pattern. I'm going to do another square knot to secure that bead in place. Notice we didn't switch on this one. The bead is taking the place of the switch knot. Okay, and we're gonna follow that same pattern where we're going to do a switch and a square knot switch and a square knot five more times. I think you've got the hang of this now. I'm going to show you a few different techniques depending on what you want to use to finish. A button or a lucky coin is a great option because they lay flat. You string it on, tie a knot, Pinch it down a little bit and then secure the back side with a few more square knots. And then just trim off the excess here, here. Make sure it's tight, real snug. And then pull this very tight and trim it off here. If you're using a charm or a bead, then we'll use a different technique that allows you to hide some of the lines and keep your work looking tidy. And we need to get it to go up through here. So you can loosen this and shove these underneath there or if you have it available, use a piece of fishing line. Thread it down there, thread it back up, see how much easier that is. And then in this little loop here, take your end lines, and just hang on to them while you pull that line. And that is going to do the hard work for you. Snug those couple of lines up through where we needed them. Oh, isn't that easier? And no frayed stuff coming up. Then you're going to take yourself just a little bit of room because we're going to need to do a couple more. So we're going to secure our square knot back down. this. Now we're just going to lock those center lines into place and kind of hide them by just weaving over them. And if you're using the bead, we're going to do it just slightly differently. Where we're going to take the string through one end and the other center line through the other end. We're going to bring that up. And give ourselves a little bit of room so we can hide our center lines in the weave. Do that. 
and because it's always nice to be tidy, try and keep them on the same sides. And cinch that way down, trim it off right there, trim it off right there, and trim the last string and you're done. <laughs>